participles in a nutshell. First up, some vocab. Timeo, timere, timoe. The verb to fear, this is second conjugation. Then a noun, a proper noun. This is an old-fashioned word for the Greeks. Danae, danaorum, masculine plural, the Greeks. Second declension, proper noun. Danae, danaorum, masculine plural. And now a slightly irregular verb, fero, fere, tuli, latos, to bring. And the nice part is it's got these three very different sounds. The fer, and then the tul, and then the lat. So we're going to be able to hear very distinctly when we use different stems. And now this noun, donum, doni, neuter, gift. Okay, let's do a present active participle. And this is most often translated in English by putting ing onto the end of a verb. Bringing. Timeo danaos dona ferentes. Timeo, I fear danaos, the Greeks, that's in the accusative plural, os. Dona ferentes, bringing gifts. So ferentes is the present active participle modifying danaos. It modifies it in case, accusative, number, plural, and gender, masculine. The ending's different, because dana os is in the second declension, and ferentes is a third declension adjective. All participles are part adjective, they have case number and gender, and part verb, they have tense, voice, and mood, the mood being, being participle. This is a lovely sentence, because this is a participial phrase. Danaos ferentes, the Greeks carrying. And in between those words, the Romans would place their objects. Danaos dona ferentes, the Greeks bearing gifts. In the word order they give you, it's Greeks gifts bearing. Let's try a perfect passive participle now. Timeo dona. A dana is lata. Timeo, I fear. Dona, the gifts. A dana is lata. Brought by the Greeks. And brought is the perfect passive participle of bring in English. It's used in a lot of other um, forms of the verb to bring. So we can't say every time you see brought. That's the perfect passive participle. But if you are using the perfect passive participle of bring, it's usually going to be brought. So, timeo, I fear, dona, the gifts, accusative plural neuter, adana is, lata, lata, brought, born, carried, and that's the thing you often see is ed, on the end of a verb, indicating the perfect passive participle, carried a dana is. And dana is is ablative of agent. It's like the ablative of means, but it's people, so it's an agent. A dana is. With the preposition a, it can be an ab, but in front of a noun beginning with a consonant, the b drops off and it's just Ah. Okay, the last one's kind of rare, but I thought I should cover it for you. This is the future active, sorry about that, future active participle about to bring. Timeo danaos dona laturos. I fear the Greeks about to bring gifts. You can hear that about to bring is really the only way that we can indicate a future active participially, participial idea in English. They have a much more concise way of saying it, laturus, laturus. So timeo, I fear, danaos, the Greeks, dona laturus, about 
to bring gifts. Once again, Dona is placed in between Danaos and Laturos. Laturos modifies Danaos in case number and gender. You can see it's Os and Os. They have the same ending because they're in the same declension. Dona is the direct object of the participle here, about to bring gifts. So that is actually accusative plural neuter. And again, about to bring. That's about the only way that we can translate laturos. And laturos comes from not the first principal part, not the second principal part, not the third principal part, tuli, but from the fourth principal part, latus, ferro, ferro, tuli, latus. Cut off the U.S. and you add U, R, and then the ending. So when you think about the future, think ur, future, ur, futurus, laturus.